Hello, welcome back to This House of Walls. My name is Ashley, and on this channel, I love to talk all things books, homeschooling, and kind of anything else in between. Today is all homeschooling. As you can see, I am in my homeschool room. I do also have a very large full cup of coffee, and we are going to talk math curriculum. <laughs> take a sip of this and then show you what we're going to be talking about today. Alright, so if you watched my third grade curriculum pick video, this is no surprise to you. Um, and I will try to link it above or down in the comments. But today is third grade math with confidence. This just came out and it just arrived at my house and I am so excited to share it. This is one of our all time favorite curriculums. Like there's no second guessing that my youngest will continue with this curriculum. It is planned to go to sixth grade. Um, that will be very sad when he gets to the end of it because this is such a fantastic curriculum. Just for a little bit of a backstory, we are going into our fourth year homeschooling. So my third grader has been kind of homeschooled since preschool, like kind of the end of preschool. When everything shut down in 2020, he came home from preschool. I was also working at that same preschool in a kindergarten class. And so when we were having to figure out what to do in that fall, we decided we're going to stay home and we're going to homeschool. So his kindergarten year was me following a lot of the teaching styles and methods that I had been using with the lead teacher at that preschool. I definitely kind of tied together a whole bunch of things. He didn't have a set curriculum, but he is still fantastic with reading and math. Uh, writing, yeah, he that's his choice. He doesn't like writing, but he can. When we decided to continue homeschooling after 2020, uh, we needed some better set in stone curriculum for him. And so we tried a couple different methods until we found math with confidence. So he has used the first grade, second grade, and now we'll use the third grade. You do need to use the instructor guide. This is where all of the lesson content comes from. And you'll see that when we do flip through that some of the pages in the student workbooks, there's no directions. It is all coming from the instructor guide. This holds scripted lessons of how to do the lessons, what supplies you need, any games that might be included, any books that you might want to bring on board as well. The third grade Math with Confidence does come with this instructor guide. It also, and this is a change from their previous two levels, has two student workbooks. So you have book A and book B. And so I will again, I will show you a flip through, but just to tell you, Book A covers units 1 through 8, while Book B covers units 9 through 16. As we dive into what this curriculum looks like, I will show you some other differences in how this is laid out. Now, I know that a lot of people are posting videos with this curriculum, and so you can absolutely go check them out. Even the creator of this curriculum, Kate Snow, has a really great detailed flip through. There is something about seeing different perspectives of a potential curriculum and how different people are going to be using it that I think is really beneficial. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it as well because this is a favorite curriculum of ours and 
while it is a very scripted curriculum of following these certain steps, um, yeah, every family is different and every family kind of does different things with different curriculums. So on that note, I'm going to flip the camera around and we are going to dive into the workbooks here. All right, so here we are with our two student workbooks and the instructor guide, and this is what we are going to be starting with. So this is the very black and white, no color scripted instructor guide, but that's fine because it's for us. Um, so you can see here is the list of all of the units, and then in the back there's a bunch of extra resources. So there's a wonderful welcome letter by the author Kate Snow and just talking about this curriculum that it's playful, hands-on, and fun with a thorough coverage of all of these amazing third grade math skills. So I really encourage you to read this and look over it. There is a wonderful big introduction, including what is new in the third grade level. Talks about an overview with the three different books and the different units. So you will see in this book, instead of the weekly layout like the previous levels, this has a layout of units. So you won't have week one, day one week one, day two, week one, day three, and so on until day five, and then go to week two, day one. This is all laid out in units, and so you'll see that in here. Goes over the different lessons and how to use them, and then uh, there are still the enrichment lessons, but instead of being at the end of each week, it will be at the end of each unit. It does talk about pacing and checkpoints, and so you'll see that in here. For the scheduling, we do math four times a week. So there are 144 lessons. If we do math four times a week, it is going to take us 36 weeks. Um, so that's a little bit of a different setup than what we have done before, but that is fine. We will definitely be able to do that. It does talk about setting up your math kit. So you need things like base 10 blocks, 50 small counters, coins, play money, clock with hands, fraction circles, one foot ruler, two packs of playing cards and two dice, blank paper, pencils, page protector and dry erase marker, binder with plastic page protectors. Um, and then some other supplies that you might need, such as if you live outside of the US, you might need some different money. All right, and then it gets right into unit one. So this gives a very good overview of the unit and what your child will learn and then here is the lesson list so you can see that there are 10 lessons and that's including the enrichment in unit one and any kind of extra materials that you might need for unit one it also gives a little bit of background of how to teach your child to understand and solve word problems. So very important information. And then it gets right into lesson one of unit one. So it always starts with this little gray box of what is the purpose and then what the materials are that you need. It also always starts with a warm up. So this is kind of a little bit of review and that is fantastic. Now, here is where then there is a change. So, we have different activities. Each lesson will have three activities. We have activity A, activity B, and activity C. In times past, this is all done kind of hands-on with your student and without the use of the student workbook. But in third grade, 
this is where we are going to bring in the student workbook. So just to show you a little bit at the beginning, you can see the different units that are in workbook A, a little author's note, and then we get right into unit 1.1. And so you can see this is definitely where all the color and amazingness comes into this curriculum. Now, here are the lesson activities. There are two people there. So this is where we are bringing the instructions from the instructor guide into here. There are no instructions on this page. It all comes from the instructor guide. And so what you'll do is you'll go through activity A and you'll read it out while your student is using activity A to help learn the lesson. And then you'll go to activity B and do that. And then activity C and do that. When they are done with ac these activities, they will flip the page and have a practice page that they are meant to do on their own and a review page that they are meant to do on their own. So each unit lesson has three pages that will need to be done. So you'll see again, here's unit 1.2. On this one, there are only two activities. So A and B, and so again, this is where you'll use your instructor guide and use this to learn the lesson. And then your student on their own will do the practice page and the review page. So a little bit different setup than previous levels, but still has that amazing hands-on scripted lessons um, that we all know and love. So again, here in the instructor guide, you can see that lesson C from 1.1 is a game. And so again, it this is nothing new that in this gray box is the instructions for that game. And you continue on to 1.2. Now, another difference about this is the enrichment lessons. Obviously, they are not coming at the end of each week. They are coming at the end of each unit. To be honest, we have not done the enrichment lessons in the past. It's kind of that extra day. We tend to only do math four times a week, so we would kind of skip the enrichment lessons. As long as my son was grasping and understanding the concepts that were taught that week, I felt confident that we could move on. Now, the enrichment lessons in third grade are set up a little bit differently in the fact that there is some paperwork to go with it. So there is the lesson. As always, there is a book to go with this enrichment lesson. And so I'm hoping that we will really make time to bring in this extra book. I think that my son will love that. And then when we are done with this, we pull out the student workbook and he actually has a unit wrap up here in his workbook. So it's not a quiz, it's not a test, anything like that, but it does show that he has grasped what was taught in that unit and that I can make sure that he has got it and we can move on to the next unit and we aren't missing anything. Even with the review, there is still this unit one checkpoint. So this is great for you to really read through and make sure that your student has grasped what they need to know and what they really need to have down before you move on to the next unit. Some of the units are kind of introduction and you will continue to learn and really nail down those concepts that were taught in things like your warm up and your review pages in the student workbook. So they might not need to be fully memorized and known, but they at least need to understand the concept of it. 
And then it goes into the Unit 2 overview. So now I have skipped to the end of the book where there are all kinds of helpful resources, including a complete picture book list. So it tells you all the different picture books that are recommended for the enrichment lessons. It has the scope and sequence of each unit has the complete memory work list, a materials list, and some other supplies that will be needed at some point. Again, they're pretty basic materials that you probably already have. And then there are black line masters. And so in the next pages are all of the black line masters that you can use. Now, I went on and printed them off, which you can do here on the Well Trained Mind website, and I put them into this little plastic sleeve. This is what we have found works best for us. We don't have a separate binder with all of these pages and things like that. We can easily just go in, find the one that we need, put it in the front, we can write and use dry erase markers and then wipe it off and move on to the next lesson. So just to do a little bit of a flip through, you can see some of the black line masters. And then see, this is for some of the games. And so this is really nice. And this is why we have them in here because we can mark on here, do whatever, and it won't ruin the game board. And then that is the end of the book. So that is a flip through of third grade math with confidence and some kind of tips from a family that has been using this curriculum for a while now and some ways that we will be using it in third grade. I am so excited to start this. So is my son. He cannot wait to start this. He loves this curriculum and it's amazing how it is taught in almost such a simple way that gets him to really understand the math concepts really quickly. And I am so thankful that this curriculum does that. As always, if you like these types of videos or any of the other videos that I have posted, make sure to like and subscribe below and I will be back for more soon.